Before we dive into this movie, I do have to give you know credit where credit is due to the artistic company behind the poster. Because that is very beautifully illustrated. I think it definitely serves to encompass the main structure of the plot quite well. But it also depicts it in a very creative way. Again, I like the, the illustration style. It's very artistic. And it has my favorite color mixture of red, white, and black. <laughs> not that there's any, like, a, a, a political connotation to that. Like, no, it's, it's not, you know, it's not a communist thing. Uh, for me, there's a favorite music group of mine. Uh, red is actually their name. And they use red, white, and black, uh, that color mixture, in their album covers a lot. Lot. I just find it, I don't know, I find the color very alluring, and it certainly fits, I would say, the horror scene. We'll see how far I get, though, because, again, while I say that the poster looks great, I don't know about this movie. It's rated R for bloody violence, and I am not a gore person. I mean, I have some conditions when it comes to the horror space. I, As a Christian, I don't prefer to watch, like, overly supernatural content. Paranormal, maybe. It depends on the, what that happens to be. If it has, like, a supernatural twist, or it's themed specifically in, like, like, the dark supernatural stuff or the occult, it's an automatic pass for me. But, you know, well, bloody violence stuff, that just kind of makes me a bit sick. So, <laughs> I, I do tend to prefer thrillers. I like the, the style of horror and the scare factor, but I'm not, hey, when it comes to, like, visual gore on screen, I'm like, I, I, I can't take that much. But this is also, again, not just that one, maybe this will be, you know, not one for me, but this is also, as I understand it, it's not, it's, it's different, it's, it's odd to describe because there isn't a interconnectedness between these films, even though they share a brand name. Because you can tell from the title, The Amityville Moon, some of you might think of the term Amityville, or more specifically, the long line of horror films that have that name in the title. And as I understand it, this is not interconnected to any of the ever preceding movies, some of which I'm pretty sure that I would not watch. But this is a, apparently it's an original story. I'll give it a try and see what I think. It sounds interesting, but again, we'll, we'll see what the gore level is here. But this is playing for also Lionsgate uh, movies, and I do like their work quite a bit. Let's take a look at what it says in the synopsis perspective. This is according to IMDb. As Alyssa and Carla try to escape from the church home that holds them captive, oof, Carla is slaughtered by a vicious semi-human creature. Okay, they say the moon. I'm, I'm assuming from the creature, perhaps a werewolf, although it looks slightly a bit different. Like, the jaw seems a bit longer. But it has essentially, like, the the half-human, wolf-like appearance. I do think it's kind of creative. Like, the, the poster says evil lurks in the holiest of places. Maybe there was a bit of a supernatural vibe to this. Or maybe, again, like, it, it, more paranormal, like, with a werewolf-type thing. Um... It's more mythic in that direction. But I think it's interesting where it says in the synopsis that they're escaping a church holding them captive. That's an interesting layer. We'll see where that goes in the project, but maybe that's tied to... Oh, that would probably bring the supernatural element. Okay, let's let the trailer... Let's let the trailer demonstrate, and then maybe I'll be able to pick apart a couple more of the details as you know we can get more familiarized. We're going to go ahead and watch this first, the main trailer for the Amityville Moon. And we're going to talk about it more in my condensed review segment, following us watching the video together. Okay, I'm not always the biggest werewolf person. And again, when you bring in the gore component, huh, we'll see how far I last. All right, here we go. I mean, I'll watch the trailer all the way through, but... It's creepy down here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Did you hear something? Let's get TV. Listen, Nolan, Carla Montgomery, go find them. Take them back to the halfway house. I pray to God that you bring our girls back safe and sound soon. A search for runaways. I think you're only gonna find Somebody one tells girl. me this Reverend knows a little more sure than he's dead. letting on. Gone, taken, just like the others. Will turn into something sinister. I got a lead on one of the girls. As the as oh, dusk oh, settles hey, in. I help you with something? I'm only here to take her back to St. Matthias. Screw you. She's not going anywhere. Well, you know, it's nice to see that there are people who are uh, protective, you know, those potentially at risk from uh, maybe with the creature. Who's after you? Not Hill. Yep. Like there we go. But as soon as the moon pops out. You got a werewolf problem at this church? It's unleashed. <laughs> There's your werewolf. <laughs> the Amityville Moon. Your grip, sister. It's hurting my arm. Better to hold on to you, my dear. What did she say? It sounded almost like 
hang on, I have to hear about line again. It's kind of hard to make, make maybe, maybe that's because I think it's the same girl that transforms into the werewolf. And that's definitely a werewolf, as they say, well, they acknowledge the silver bullet. You know, that is, as I understand, it's a particular element into killing a werewolf. I mean, Doctor Who had that tie-in back in, like, season two or whatever, with the werewolf episode that that one did. And they mentioned a silver bullet. Now, what did she say? Like, better to... Better to hold on to you, my dear. Like, were they looking to Little Red Riding Hood for inspiration? <laughs> it's kind of interesting. You're like, an R-rated horror film that floats back into nursery rhymes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I buy that line a bit. Also, the movie, if this is, well, maybe it was meant to be a TV film. Maybe with the gore level, though, that would set it off a bit. Although, maybe it would be the late night watch if that were true. Because I, I, I watched this, and it feels more like what you would watch on, you know, a television set for just, like, a 90-minute TV movie. And it's about that length, at, uh, 92 minutes. I would see that justifying, again, more a TV audience, maybe without with some of the gore pulled out. Because it, it just, it, it doesn't register to me like a cinema movie. I, I don't see it. Maybe it's because I watch a lot of TV movie trailers. I'm just, I'm used to maybe the floating camera, the lower budget look to it. But even the way it's shot with some of the char- some of the characters involved. Now the trailer didn't get too bad in terms of the gore level. You could see though hints of it going in that direction. I don't, well, I was going to say with the werewolf. That's clearly a werewolf, as I said. That looks like a. It doesn't look as much like a wolf man. It's like a human hyena. That's kind of what it looks like. I don't know. It's a. It looks like a lower budget horror movie, in the Amityville line. And from what I understand on IMDb, at least IMDb has it currently. It's sitting at 176 reviews. I'm looking at this at 2.5 out of 10 stars. That's not the most promising, and that does kind of reflect more so what I've seen in a lot of TV movies. This just has that feel to it. Again, the poster looked great. The poster almost looked like a graphic novel cover in a way, just the way it was illustrated. I don't think the film is going to be reaching for the highest audience. We'll see. Maybe this will get like a cult following. I have no idea. I have no idea how big the following is for Amityville movies. So maybe people will grow like that. Um, As far as the escaping from the church layer or I guess the church that holds them captive, that could be, you know, a reference. For example, with the Doctor Who episode that I referenced uh, a little while ago, there's, what was it in that show? It was like it, the, it's like some order of like martial art monk people or whatever, and they had a wolf that they, or, well, a, a werewolf, I guess, that they kept at the basement in a cage for the right time. So that analogy of a, like a religious order, or in this case, a religious building, that's similar. I would imagine it's not going to go too in depth. Like it's not going to be something that's that's more intellectual in regards to how we understand that in the context of the story. It seems more maybe like a superficial element. That's just my feeling with it. I don't think it's the strongest film I've seen. <laughs> I mean, for those of you who do know this particular brand, you'd be like, oh, that film's stronger, that film's stronger. I mean, they're rating this R for bloody violence, so I can only imagine maybe how intense those ones are if this is the lower end. Looks like it has potential, but it's not the strongest watch to me. Just kind of my thoughts. What are your guys' thoughts on the Amityville Moon? Let me know down below. Don't forget all the good stuff. Like, and subscribe to the sharing that bell. Perhaps we'll get to watch a better addition to this brand in the future. Who knows? But until we get to watching a trailer together, whatever that might be, I will see you guys at that point. But until then, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to love yourself, fellow man. God bless. Peace.